up guys, welcome back to the channel We are going to be pitching while I'm actually on the way To someone in Perth Road Who scrubs on us um, 600 meters, turn left Yeah, I'm one minute away So I'm on my way to this guy um, Because he has a EG spoiler Or under EG spoiler And bonnet for us, for my brother's car So guys um, we have the bonnet and the spoiler in the boot, uh, in the back of the, the back half of my car. Um, I'm sitting on top of the steering wheel. Try and yeah, just so that the bonnet can fit in. So we got the bonnet; it's in a good condition. But the spoiler is in a good condition. That needs a respray, but that's nothing major. The, the the bonnet and the spoiler both need a respray because it's not even the it's not the same color as the car. So it's not an issue. That's not a, a worry. So in today's video, I'm going to be introducing you to, well, I'm going to be showing you my brother's 150 Honda per, um, Ballard. And the plan for it is to bring it back to life. It has been standing for I don't know how long. So the plan is to bring it back to life and just to have a nice daily driver or to turn it into a nice daily driver. So without further ado, let me show you what this car is about. So, as I've said, my brother's 150 Honda <laughs> Pollard. So, at the back, you can see there's no spoiler. The spoiler was actually removed when before my brother bought the car. Uh, moving on, so that's issue number one that we'll be sorting out. Issue number two, this car has been standing for very, very long and it needs a cleanup. This is the biggest issue on the car. The car's bonnet flew open on the end too and smashed the windscreen and dented the roof but the dent on the roof is not too bad. My brother sorted the windscreen out but we will be sorting this out shortly uh, I think in the next video and yeah that's basically this car. There's nothing wrong with the car. The car has just been standing for this whole lockdown. It's been standing since before the lockdown because my brother hasn't been driving the car so I figured out, figured why not use this as an opportunity for content to show you guys how we bring it back to life. So the plan is to bring the car back to life for the cheapest amount possible, I think. To make it look as, look as nice as possible for as cheap as possible. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning it up nicely, giving it a wash, and we're going to be fitting the boot spoiler. So let's get to it. I will not be showing you guys how I wash the car because you guys can see how I do that in my previous video. I'll link it above. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be following the exact same process of how I wash the car. So guys, it's the next day. The car is clean, a lot cleaner than what it was. Um, but it, it, it was so filthy. So it could actually do with another wash, in my opinion. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys how it looks. Yeah. It's clean. Now I can see all the dirt, all the, all the tires and stuff inside. <laughs> all of these belong to me. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so let's get busy with this install. So on the boot lid, you have these holes. I don't, I think you'll, you'll need to make them if your car didn't come with them. But as I said, this car came with the spoiler, but when the, my brother bought it, uh, they took the spoiler off. Uh, this is the spoiler, guys. So as you can see, the spoiler has some damage to it. There's a few cracks here and there, but it's nothing major. Uh, the spoiler is still solid. So yeah. It's gonna get the resprayed anyways uh, once we fit the spoiler spoiler and the bonnet uh, because the bonnet and the spoiler came from the same car so they are both this color. Once we fit the spoiler and the bonnet the car is gonna go for a respray and a polish and then it's going to be back to its former glory. So to start uh, I took all the old tape off that was inside just to prep the spoiler so it can stick to the boot and I replace that with a whole row of double sided tape. 
the thing that's on the side broke off but I'm sure this will hold um, so yeah that's all I did so first things first you'll see that these holes are blocked off these two there's nothing blocking this one and these two so let's open the boot up and see what's actually blocking it so it's this piece here and this piece here so what we're going to be doing now is so let's go ahead and expose these holes <laughs> expose these holes and there we have two exposed holes so there you can see right through and there you can see right through so let's place the spoiler on the boot let's see what's what So there, the spoiler is just placed on the boot, the fitment should get better, it's already good to be honest, but it should get better. So now we're going to put in the washers and the bolts or screw fixtures, whatever you want to call them on and yeah, and that should be that for today's install. So here we have it guys, the spoiler is on and it is secure. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, but or for today's install. But guys, I do advise you to first spray the spoiler and get it color matched and in a better condition than what it is before putting it on so that you know you're installing a part that doesn't need to come off again. Um, I know I should have done that as well, but I just thought, let me just put it on, some, make some content for you guys so you guys have something to watch. So yeah, it's a really super, super, super easy install. Quick and easy. It took me like five minutes to put it on. And it's on there, it's not going anyway. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for staying tuned till the end. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. If you feel like it, please drop a comment down below. And yeah. I really do appreciate, appreciate the support and stay tuned for more content.